Hi dudes, this is John Bob. Um, now this is a video I'd like to make about the feast days of Yahweh uh, and how they're still important for the so-called church, you know, the called out ones, the Ecclesia today. If you're born again then you're part of the Ecclesia, the called out ones from the world. Some people call it the church. And if you're born again Israelite then uh, I would like just to some mention some um, some facts um, for us all, really. Now we know that all the apostles um, kept the feast days, um, and a good part of their teachings would have been to prove the Messiah to the Jews, and to do that they would have used the feast days uh, of Yahweh to prove that the Messiah came to fulfil them as he was born on the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles he was baptized on Pentecost and he gave his life for our sins on Passover and was raised on first fruits he fulfilled all those feast days and more and we know that straight after this uh, the called out ones you know the Jewish um, disciples were immersed in his spirit just like the Messiah was uh, on Pentecost um, the Feast of Tabernacles period would have been important because we know that the destruction of the temple uh, didn't come in that period but it came on a particular day um, and this day is called the 9th of Av uh, I think I believe they actually got warnings around, around uh, these times I think they had a, a three year warning uh, you know the, the, the Roman armies uh, surrounded Jerusalem and it looked as if it was going to be destroyed uh, at 67 AD but they actually went away and there's a three year grace period that the you know the apostles in the city would have known to run out um, because the Messiah already t told them a shadow picture prophecy about this um, and it happened three years later and the temple was destroyed now going back to some mathematics um, as we read in Colossians 2.16 let no man judge you for observing a new moon or a sabbath or any feast day because as they taught these were shadow pictures that the Messiah fulfilled and is fulfilling even t today is still fulfilling and at his second coming he will again fulfill these feast days because at his second coming it's going to relate to the nation of Israel, it's going to relate to the called out ones, the Ecclesia, it's going to relate to the uh, specially anointed um, born again Israelites um, who are to go around the earth and proclaim the good news of Yahshua the Messiah. Um, now also other verses in Numbers uh, 2.16 we read about the tribe of Reuben. Now generally the number 216 is related to the tabernacle in the wilderness it's also related to the name of God and the short form of that in the, the Hebrew num numbering system is 26 the name yod -Heh, vav -Heh, I believe adds up to 26 you can correct me if I'm wrong with that now two, uh, 2160 is the uh, number of miles around the, the circumference of the moon and I believe this number is also relevant uh, to Antarctica as well uh, you know the number of miles around that um, now if, uh, all, you know all these things actually proclaim that Yahweh made the heavens Yahweh in particular made the moon for modems for times uh, and seasons um, you know to proclaim his feast days and sometimes uh, you know they can be used for wrong things you know like wolves like barking at the moon you know, um, ast astrologers might li like making predictions uh, about full moons and all that kind of stuff, which doesn't really matter because it all relates to the Messiah and prophecy. And those that try to relate it to, you know, give credit to Satan the devil for, you know, creation are wrong, you know, and uh, certainly these people will pay for it. It is witchcraft if you try and predict events uh, using. Uh, the heavens and so on and so forth but if we simply stick 
to using them as we are prescribed to use them for Yahweh's feast days we can see the Messiah fulfilling them all year upon year and you know going going back to the fact that uh, there is a New Testament church a New Testament Gentile church um, now most of these people did not go with Paul and the other apostles to Jerusalem to keep the feasts but, it, but they actually kept the feasts themselves and I think Antioch uh, was, was, the, was the town that was used f for the Gentile believers to congregate on instead of Jerusalem remember the Jewish apostles would have congregated in Jerusalem every single feast, feast day um, not, not every Sabbath and New Moon but every uh, the, you know the three annual feast days Passover, Pentecost and the Feast of Tabernacles the three times that uh, the males of Israel are required to appear before God um, and it's likewise with, with the Gentiles but they, they would have appeared at Antioch and, and other cities and there would have been leaderships and you know uh, the Messiah would have been proclaimed and taught on these special days as fulfilling them now does um, being born again mean that we no, no longer need to observe these days on the contrary my friend because these days actually represent what the Messiah fulfilled for us and the more we know and learn about these special feast days that Yahweh prescribed for us uh, way back in Leviticus you know gave to Moses um, you know you can see that the Messiah superseded those um, feast days if you want but as long as we remember them and we remember to observe them wherever we are wh whichever city we're in in the world and remember these days will be very significant in the days ahead um, so I hope you've enjoyed this short video you know um, and I'll talk to you soon